And next up to the scales from South Africa, it's David Raduli. Official weight 65.6 kilograms. David Rajuri. And facing him tomorrow evening in the red corner from Sweden, Anthony. Can you dig it? Yiggy. Anthony Yiggy. Official weight 66 kilograms. Anthony, it's been a few years since you were in Denmark last time, for yeah. a fight at least. Definitely. Uh, how is it to be back? I mean, as always, the Danish crowd, the people here, they love boxing, so it's good to be back. It's good to see all the familiar faces. Uh, it's just, you know, it brings back memories. Recently, you had a fight in Poland. A pretty tough fight, just a month ago. Yeah. How was it to sort of recuperate from that fight? I mean, it, the fight in itself was fun. I didn't get damaged a lot. Uh, I got a nasty cut, uh, which healed up quite well. Uh, and after that, you know, I just kept on training, just taking over. And then I got this fight and I said, yeah, why not? You know, I'm still in shape for, from the other fight. So I might as well just take it. Uh, what kind of a fight do you expect tomorrow? I mean, he said it's his last fight. So I'm thinking he's going to come in slugging. So I'm going to be ready for that. Uh, we'll see. I think I'm going to try to win the first couple of rounds. And when I know I've got, you know, at least three rounds in the bag, then I'm going to try to give the people a show. It looks like, from what I've seen from him, that he's a good technician, but he can be pressured. And as I remember you, you're a pretty good pressure fighter. Yeah, I mean, I've always been, but then I noticed that as more that I came up in the ranks, uh, I couldn't pressure as much anymore because I kept getting damaged a lot. You know, my eyes kept swollen up and stuff because the fighters, they, you know, they know how to counter pressure fighters. So I started to learn how to box and move instead. Uh, we'll see what I'll, I'll use tomorrow. It all depends on what he brings. If you win tomorrow, how's your career going to go on now? You're not the youngest anymore. No, I mean, I think if I win tomorrow, I have a win in my in my in in the back, and then probably you know I might get a big fight coming up. They talk about Adam Azim a lot. Uh, he's gonna go for the European title right now. Maybe that's something along the line in the future. It depends, you know. I feel like they see me kind of like a test, like a gatekeeper thing, and that's all right. You know, it gives me the opportunities to, you know, one day maybe ho hopefully I'll be able to uh, to snatch that victory and go for the title.